This is our last day looking at our passage in Philippians 3. Now, Paul's ultimate treasure has been to discover what it means to know Christ, to know him experientially. Uh, this has happened through a death of sorts, um, a death to the things he used to count as his successes in life and, and the things that establish his, really his credentials. So how do you truly get to know someone? Well, one way is you begin to walk in their shoes. You experience what they experience. Now, Paul wants to know Christ so badly that he wants to participate in his sufferings. Why? Well, because it is from here that he will know and experience Christ in a way that he couldn't otherwise. Remember, it wasn't Paul's failures that kept him from knowing Christ. It was his successes. Because these form the basis of his merit and his boast. Okay, so here's the verse, Philippians 3, 10. All right, and here's what it says. I want to know Christ. I want to know the power of his resurrection and the participation of his sufferings, becoming conformed like him through his death. You see, the problem um, with, with Paul at one point, and, and sometimes with us, is it becomes unsustainable to establish our worth um, in something every day, day in and day out, outside of Christ. You see, if I am successful today swimming upstream, guess what? You're going to expect me to do it tomorrow. And if you're going to expect me to do a little better than yesterday, then that's going to be an insurmountable weight. Eventually, it's going to crush me. But if you listen to Paul's words in other places, um, it, it's amazing how there's a sort of life and a lightness that comes through his dying to self. He says in 1 Corinthians 15, I die daily. In Galatians 2.20, he says, I've been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life I now live, I live by faith in the Son of God who gave himself for me. So let's just focus on this theme of dying daily. Um, for me, right, I might get it right one day. Like I might actually take the life preserver God gives me and I might see swimming against the current. But guess what? The problem with a living sacrifice is that it can crawl off the altar. And therefore the next day, if I don't die to self again, I'll get right back on the same path of seeking my validation and the things that I do rather than who he is. Paul says he wants to know Christ by participating in his sufferings, becoming like him in his death. His sufferings were a precursor to his death. And therefore Paul sees suffering as a precursor to his dying to self which for him is a place to enter the shoes of his savior to experience him. Dying to self for Paul uh, meant that he was too weak to swim upstream. For many of us, drowning is a precursor to being afloat. See, what the world considers weak, God considers strong. And so my hope and prayer through this week of devotions is that for those of us who are constantly swimming against the current of life, that we will cease to do so in our own attempts to establish our own worth and therefore turn around and to swim with the current. May we just know Christ for who he is and rest in what he has done for us.